Concordia offers a lot of diversity in terms of the courses that they have in engineering. It's a, a large faculty of engineering and computer science that has many different programs, many different professors that are interested in different things, so you really have the opportunity to look into what you're interested in, but also learn a lot of different fields so that you can figure out what it is that you're interested in and how to get there. Concordia is special in that we actually have a department called the Center for Engineering and Society. And this is the, this is the department who um, offers courses such as the, uh, the ethical implications of design practice. And this is where you can start to see in very, very important, tangible ways why the social aspect of engineering is so important. You see, students are the essential component of what they are doing. We are doing innovative research while at the same time training the leaders of tomorrow. Uh, it's very important uh, to train well the next uh, generation of engineers. Well, first of all, all of the projects are done by students. It's extremely important because this is the, the future labor force. And, um, and what I learned from them is that they often come in with uh, abilities that I don't have myself at the moment. I have more experience in being able to see where the research can go and look at some of the answers and discuss that with them. But in fact, they are far more capable of doing the actual work. For me, engineering is not simply applied math and physics. A lot of engineers and uh, people in industry approach it that way, but I think it's important to look at the context in which engineering is practiced. Someone in, in the spectrum of work that needs to be done, from the person that installs tried and true products, to the person right at the front end developing new ideas, someone has to be doing that to look at new ways of doing it, better ways of doing it, and that's what we do at the university. Concordia is, is a place where things happen, where people don't just think about things happening or talk about things that they want to happen, they really take steps to make that happen and, and it's an environment where it's very collaborative even between different faculties and so it's easy to find a group that's doing something that, that you believe in and a cause that you want to stand behind and, and get involved and collaborate with other students across all the faculties. The students are our, our reason for being here, otherwise without students we have no, no reason to, to be here. The key is motivation. Uh, having motivated students, keeping the motivation in them, and also then uh, uh, at the same time the, doing the cutting edge research that we need to do. Montreal is the perfect place and Concordia also the perfect place to do the kind of thing we want to do uh, because it's in a very, it's in the top city in the world, uh, Montreal, uh, in a very uh, what I call a very intellectual city. We are right in the middle of the city and uh, we have uh, very strong contacts with, with industry connected to the city, but also in remote regions. To hold a meeting, for example, it's very easy to get people around the table. Um, so there's an energy, there's a synergy, there's also other supporting NGOs that are very interested in the kind of work we do. I think what makes Concordia special is that it has like a kind of small school feel. Um, because of our situation in Montreal, you really get that feeling that you're, you're in a big city, but the Concordia community is still pretty tight-knit. So you have the opportunity to really not be living necessarily on a campus kind of life. You have that diversity that's coming from being in the middle of a, a major city, but then you kind of have the support of your, of your colleagues at the university, which it would be different if it was a big campus school, I think. Uh, we have brand new buildings, so that's uh, new facilities and infrastructure is great. To have uh, new, new research facilities like this has been fantastic. It is extremely important to use innovation and cutting-edge uh, techniques such as the ones that you see here for research. Concordia is especially good at training the next generation of engineers because we have really good researchers here in the Faculty of Engineer and Computer Science and we're working with the other fa faculties to be able to uh, train the engineers in the aspects of uh, social aspects and economic aspects uh, so that they will have a well-rounded training for the, for the future.